Mo Mane, no problems, but is Salah off the pace? At the weekend, Jake followed Liverpool fans to Craven Cottage, where he was asking whether well, Sadio Mane is now more important to their side than Mo Salah. Got to go with Mane. Mane all day. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be Mane at the moment, yeah. I would say Salah's more important, even though Mane's obviously done brilliant. I'm going to go different. I'm going to go Firmino. I'd say Mane is probably 100% the, the number one player at Liverpool at the moment. Mane is a more complete player than Salah. Everyone plays a part, but Mane has definitely been a big factor to Liverpool this season. My wife and I, <laughs> we're a partnership, right? We go together. It's same with Liverpool. Van Dijk, oh, even though Mane has Salah, Van Dijk has got to be on it every game, can't get injured, I don't care. I probably think Mane because Salah's getting a lot more greedy and he's like wasting chances. They're probably about the same. Yeah. Current form in everything, Mane's just yeah, yeah. the best, one of the best players on the pitch. That's what the fans think. Now, let's put it to the numbers. At the turn of the year, Mo Salah's position as African Player of the Year was completely undisputed, as an amazing season had him compared with Lionel Messi, amongst others. Although at the same time, something strange happened. Even though he'd carried on last season's form until December, his expected goal contribution per game dropped from 0.97 to 0.56 per game, a change spotted by our story mining algorithm. At almost exactly the same time, Sadio Mane's form improved, and his expected goal contribution went up from 0.44 to 0.55 leaving him neck and neck with Mo Salah for overall expected goal contribution since January. So given the similar current form, we ask, is Sadio Mane as important to Liverpool as Mo Salah? If we look at the underlying chance getting and chance creating numbers, Mo Salah seems a clear winner, but let's not forget the outcome is important. For goals scored, Sadio is the man and leads with 17 open play goals to Mo's 14. When we look at their finishing, we see that Mo Salah isn't far behind the goals tally we'd expect him to have at this point of the season, but Sadio Mane is completely off the charts. He scored five more goals than our model would have expected based on his current chance quality. So at the moment, Salah edges it on consistency of getting and creating good chances, but Mane is edging it on the goal scoring outcomes. So far, the summary stats seem to show a story of Salah having great process, but Sadio Mane having all the outcome. But is there another way to separate how well they're doing this season? Well, we could by taking into account the opposition strength and we can use ELO ratings to do this. ELO ratings are a method to rank team strengths relative to each other based purely on match outcomes. These ratings try to weigh how good a team's set of results have been based on their opponent's strength and who their opponents have beaten before that. So for example, in an ELO-based system, if a team beats Tottenham, Arsenal and Manchester City, their rating would improve by much more than if they just beat Brighton, Watford and Fulham, even though they get the same number of points in the league. ELO ratings are supposed to reflect the difference in ability between two opponents facing each other, but we use them to signify opposition team strength and multiplied each expected goal, assist and goal value by the opposition ELO rating. This meant that an attacking event against a good team would be worth more than the same against a weaker team. So when we adjust our analysis for opposition strength, we can see that Sadio Mane has been much more important this season in terms of getting better quality chances and scoring goals against stronger opposition. But he still doesn't come close to Mohamed Salah as creator against the better teams. So there we have it, Mo Salah may have taken a bit of a back seat in terms of goal scoring this season, but that doesn't mean he's any less important in the long run. Where should we go next? Let us know in the comments below. But in the meantime, this has been 3 Minute Myths, Delusions Debunked in 180 seconds.